the Aramaic and Palestinian Targum, or in Leviticus chapter 21, Torah portion, Imor. And the Lord spake with Moshe, saying, Speak unto the priests, the men of the children of Aaron, that they keep themselves apart from defilement, and thus shalt thou say unto them, For a man who is dead, the priest, shall not defile himself among his people, but for a woman who is of kin to his flesh, for his daughter, and for his father, and for his son, and for his daughter, and for his brother, and for his sister, a virgin who is nigh to him, and who hath neither been betrothed, nor married to a husband, for her he may defile himself. The husband shall not defile himself on account of his wife, except so far as it is right for him. But for a relative of those who do the work of his people, he may defile himself. They shall not mark themselves between their eyes, nor set a mark upon their heads, nor cut away the corners of their beards, nor make any incision in their flesh. But they shall be holy before their God, and shall not profane the name of their God. Jerusalem, they shall not profane for the oblations of their God they do offer, and they must be holy in their bodies, and they shall not take to wife a woman who hath gone astray by fornication. Jerusalem, a woman a for fornicatress or profane, or who was born illegitimate, or a woman who hath been put away, whether from her husband or the husband's brother may they take. For he is to be holy before his God. Thou shalt sanctify him unto the priesthood, for the oblation itself of thy God he is to offer, and he shall be holy to thee. And thou shalt not make him profane. I, the Lord who sanctify you, am holy. And if the betrothed daughter of a man of the priesthood profane herself, by going astray in fornication, if while she is yet in her father's house, she is guilty of fornication, and she shall be burned in fire. And the high priest who hath been anointed upon his brethren, and upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and who offered his oblation to be arrayed in the holy robes, shall not make his head bare, nor either rend, nor tear his garment in the hour of grief. Nor unto any person who is dead shall he go in, nor for his father or his mother make himself unclean. And he shall not go forth from the sanctuary or profane the sanctuary of his God. For the anointing oil of his God is upon him, and I am the Lord. And he shall take a wife who is in her virginity, but a widow, or a diverse, divorced person, or one who was born of depraved parents, or who hath gone astray by fornication, such as these he shall not take. But a virgin proper shall he take to wife from the daughters of his people. Neither shall he profane his offspring among his people, for I, the Lord, do sanctify him. And the Lord spake with Moshe, saying, Speak with Aaron, saying, No man of thy sons in the families of their generations, who hath a blemish in him, shall be qualified to offer the oblation of his God. For no man who hath a blemish in him shall offer it. A man who is blind or lame or stricken in his nostrils, or mutated in his thigh, or a man who hath a broken foot, or a broken hand, or whose eyelids droop, so as to cover his eyes, who hath no hair on his eyelids, or who has a suffocation of whiteness with darkness in his eyes, or who hath the dry scurvy, 
or who is full of the blotches of Egypt, or whose testicles are swollen or shrunk. Jerusalem, or one whose eyelids covereth his eyes, or hath no hair on his eyelids, or who is overgrown, a dwarf, a blear eyed, or filled with scurvy, or with blotches, or who is wanting in the testicles. No man, a prince of the race of Aaron, the priest, who hath in him any blemish, shall be qualified to offer the oblation of the Lord. He hath a blemish, and it is not meet for him to offer the oblation of his God. Nevertheless, he may support himself in the residue of the oblations of his God, which remaineth in the most holy, and of the holy offerings. Only he must not enter within the veil, nor approach the altar, for a blemish is in him, and he shall not profane my sanctuary, for I the Lord do sanctify him, do sanctify them. And Moshe spoke with Aaron and his sons, and with all the sons of Israel.